Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we are talking about your RV AC controls and if you have both heating and cooling on one control, we're going to be talking about that. This is our old unit. You can see it hanging here. Um, this is just the cover, so you can tell it's pretty old and it it just needs to be replaced. Like I said, the thermostat switch here where you can control the temperature, that stopped working. It doesn't make it so that the AC doesn't work or the heating doesn't work. It just, there's no variation. It just runs. If it's heat, it just runs and runs and runs and it gets really hot if you leave the furnace on or it'll get really cold, which in the summer, yeah, you want to be as comfortable as possible. But here is the unit that we are going to be replacing uh, with. And like I said, it's a Honeywell. This one is a programmable one, but in essence, it's being powered by batteries. We're not gonna hook up the power that goes to the leads on this unit. That's how we're gonna get away with using a regular thermostat. And these are a lot cheaper than buying an AC thermostat that could actually go out again on us. So we're going to show you how to diagnose what all these wires are and where they go. So let's get to that. All right guys. So as you can tell here, it's kind of hard to read probably on the screen here, but we'll do our best. But on the board itself, we have green wire, gray wire, white wire, yellow, blue, red, etc. So, the red wire is for your 12 volt. It says right there on the board. Blue is ground. Then you have a couple other ones here. Um, green is just green. White is just white. Yellow is yellow. Um, if you've ever done a replacement thermostat inside your home, in a sticks and bricks home, then it is the similar naming on those wires. So, when we look at this here we're going to use the conventional section so this unit that i got was for a heat pump or conventional so if you actually do have a heat pump this will work what we're going to do is we're going to just match up the wires simple enough white to white yellow to yellow green the g for g is not green the g is actually gray we're going to do that um there's a r and rc so you want to look at make sure you look at your manual to see which one if you need that little jumper that's in there or not and that will actually supply power as well so what i'm going to do is since i don't have any labels um this is a used thermostat that i got from my father-in-law but it still works just fine so what I am actually going to do is I'm going to cut these wires about right here. So that way, if I need to go back to this thermostat for any reason I messed up or something, um, I can just splice them back together. I did leave in this pin here, a little jumper. It came with it and it tells you in the manual that if you don't have both R and RH wires, then you leave the jumper in and you hook it up. Doesn't matter if you hook it up to R or RH because that pin is making the connection. So you could plug that one into either spot there. 
our white wire goes to W, our yellow wire goes to yellow, and our green wire actually uh, does go to G. I previously stated that G was for gray, it is not. There's a different color coding for that, but um, again, I left out the blue wire because on here, if you noticed, that is ground, so it's like a negative 12 volt. Uh, we don't need that. Also, the gray is for your low fan. So it's this thermostat, old thermostat, had a setting for the fan to go high and low. Um, I don't care because it's not that different for high or low. Um, so I felt no need to hook that up. And I tucked the wires back in there, made it all nice and clean. And so we will put that face plate on now and we'll go ahead and test the system. Okay guys, so I hope that this video was very informative. I hope you found value out of it. And if you want to do this yourself, it is a very simple process. Follow the steps in the video, as well as follow the directions in the manual when you get this unit. I will put the description down below what model I used. If you want to use a scheduler, as well as having the heat and cold function. So if you guys like this video, make sure that you give it a great big thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought you liked or if you have any comments or questions, put them down below in the comment section. And also, if you like more of these videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time we release a video. And with that, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.